this is either or. This week, it's Matt Riddle pitted against Keith Lee. If you could only choose one, which wrestler are you choosing as your most favorite out of the two? Keith Lee or Matt Riddle? Bro. Kelsey here for WrestlingNews.co, and I really love the idea of picking between two entities I love, whether that be two wrestlers, two wrestling matches, two wrestling moves, two wrestling shows, heck, even two wrestling promotions. This is going to be a semi-regular series here on Wrestling News Co.'s YouTube channel, so please stay tuned if you guys like this concept. So this week, I am choosing between Keith Lee and Matt Riddle, but it's not just me who's choosing. I put out a poll out to the public, to you guys, and I'm going to reveal those results as well. So I actually put out two polls. One I did on my personal Twitter a couple of weeks ago, and that one got 348 votes, and Keith Lee won with an insane majority. He won with 71.6% of the vote, and Matt Riddle received 28.4% of the vote. So I think one of the reasons why this poll is so skewed towards Keith Lee is because at the time I put this out a few weeks ago, he was gaining a lot of momentum in NXT, and on top of that, he had literally just had an amazing performance in the Survivor Series pay-per-view. So I think that really kind of led people to pick Keith Lee since he was so in the forefront. Matt Riddle that weekend had a great takeover match, but he wasn't as in the spotlight as Keith Lee was. So it's no surprise to me that Keith Lee was kind of on people's minds during this poll, and so people kind of just went directly to him. But then I put out a more recent poll, literally like just a day or two ago on Wrestling News Co's Twitter. So Keith Lee also won that poll at 64.5%, Matt Riddle coming in with only 35.5%, but at least it's a little closer than the other poll. However, do keep in mind that the other poll, the original poll I put out, had more votes overall. But still, either way, Keith Lee won. And let's go through some people's comments, and then afterwards, I'll tell you which one I chose and why. And believe me, it's like the worst form of torture. I can't possibly have an easy time choosing between them. It's going to be so difficult, but I'm going to make a choice here, and you guys will find out who I choose at the very end. All right, so we'll go with at Big Blue D79. While I think Riddle is better all around package right now, I choose Lee because he has that intangible thing you can't teach. He's got presence that reminds me of The Rock. You knew he was made to entertain, and his in-ring ceiling is just a bit higher than Riddle, I think. Keith Lee does have a lot of charisma. Then my friend Chibs at Chibi Halloween says, I would need to go with Keith, because as impressive as Riddle's in-ring skills are, the bro stoner shtick gets old fast with me. I personally need more than just a yeah, bro. Lee got the power and surprisingly great agility for a man his size, plus natural charisma. Then we've got good guy Dave at Dave Pazeski. Matt Riddle. Keith Lee is a rising star, for sure, but Riddle's matches are the best in NXT. Riddle's speed, striking, and insane strength make his matches incredibly dynamic. His MMA background helps make him a threat. I really think Riddle is one of the best wrestlers in NXT. Good points there, Dave. Very descriptive. At Heels and Quads just posted a GIF that said, I can't do this. I feel you. This is like a really hard decision for me. I love both guys. At Respected Grub 12, Keith Lee is so over right now, it's hard not to pick him. And I do want to make a little statement. You know, it's not about who's more over or who's more popular. The poll was more about, you can love them both a lot, but if you had to eliminate one from existing in wrestling, which one would you eliminate? If you had to choose, who would you choose? It's a tough choice, but it's not really about popularity. It's just about your personal preference. At Alex underscore Pittenger posted a GIF, and he said decisions. And of course, it's Homer sinking back into the bush. Can't make a decision. I can relate. <laughs> Trust me, Alex. At Thirsty Craig says, since moving to NXT, I have not seen either. I've seen a lot of their pre-NXT days, though. Lee is obscenely athletic. Riddle has tons of charisma and an it factor. Me, I go Riddle, but Lee is the real deal also. So officially, I think Craig is picking Riddle. At Kirby Pinky 23 Matt Riddle is fantastic and is totally going to be a star one day. But I think Keith Lee edges out a little 
for me. His showings at War Games and Survivor Series sealed the deal. Plus, I can't not think that this GIF is awesome too. And she's describing the GIF where he rises up out of nowhere and looks menacingly behind Finn Balor's shoulder. I love that GIF. At Deej Kirkby, I love Keith Lee. The things he can do in the ring astound me. But with a passion for MMA, I have a special place for my bro, Matt Riddle. Good choice there. He does bring in the MMA crowd because he has a legit background in that. And of course, he was successful there. But I mean, he's adapted to wrestling so fast. It's insane how quickly he just changed mediums and had no problem. Really smooth transition for him. At Run 88 very hard choice, but Keith Lee is just so awesome. At PCH Nobog, Keith Lee is in the discussion of being the best big man in wrestling today. Strong, able to fly, great charisma, and the ability to be a believable face or heel. Two things we mere mortals don't deserve. Cats and Keith Lee. <laughs> That's funny. At Jay Burke, Lee. I think Riddle is the better pure wrestler, but Lee has a far better character and personality, and those are more important to me. At Mad Nutter 0102, I voted for Keith Lee. There's too much hype over Riddle. None of it is justified in my opinion. Strong take there. At Rich Gustason, I just freaking love that for his size, Keith Lee does some incredible shit. Reminds me of when I first saw Big Van Vader. Seeing big men doing cruiserweight moves just gets me all the time. Great point there. At Psycho Nigiri, Keith Lee, no contest. For me, it's a harder choice, but I understand where you're coming from, Nate. At Drunken Tomato, six months ago, I would have said Riddle because he was being pushed more. Now I'd have to say Lee. Both look like absolute superstars when given a decent push. I really don't think it has to do with the push personally, in my opinion. I really think that it's really just all personal preference uh, because I think they've both gotten a decent push. Of course, right now, Keith Lee is getting the bigger push, obviously, but Riddle has been pushed fairly well except for losing to Balor. But what better person to lose to than to someone who's held the NXT title for so long and also who is a pillar of NXT. At pro underscore T8TER, Keith Lee, no doubt about it. He is extremely well-rounded. I get a total modern day American dream Dusty Rhodes vibes from him. Also, in my opinion, Riddle's been disrespectful to legends and ring veterans. His attitude has a lot of room for improvement even though he is solid in the ring. You know, Tater, I kind of like his whole confrontation with the legends because I think it's kind of part of his character. And I also just, I'm sure it's really part of who he is in general as well, but I think it works into his character. So it's kind of 50-50. And it works for me because if Goldberg agrees to face him and actually puts Riddle over, imagine how great that could be. So all the trash talking Riddle's doing to Goldberg could end up paying off in the end, and I, as a person watching, would love to see that match happen. At Brain ED 22654161, it's a hard choice, but I think in the long run, Matt Riddle has more potential taking Brock Lesnar's spot as top guy, but he is better, more athletic than Brock. Don't get me wrong, Keith Lee is also very good. I think both will be great, though, and it would be a great main event trilogy. Interesting take there. Caro, eternally 12 years old, says Keith Lee has gained so much momentum from NXT being on the USA Network, and especially after War Games and Survivor Series, it's hard not to root for him, and he is absolutely deserving of being over right now. Very good point there. At P1 underscore HDX, Keith Lee is a true beast, future NXT heavyweight champion. Honestly, I think both Keith Lee and Matt Riddle could be NXT champions because they are just so oozing with charisma, the two of them, and I really think they connect with the audience. So I could see either guy being a champ in the future, and I think it would be a wise move to put the belt on either at one point or another in the future. At Florida Man 1966, I'll take Keith Lee. He wears shoes. This ain't the octagon, bro. Oh, you hating on Matt Riddle's bare feet? Oh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I kind of like it. It's different. And yeah, they made Rusev change the shoes, but I sure hope they don't ever make Matt Riddle do that because I like the look. At Raven Phenomenal just posts that epic gif that we talked about earlier of Keith Lee rising behind Finn Balor, and he says, bask in his glory. So he's obviously picking Keith Lee. At Masked Snowman, I'm a fan of Riddle's going back to his MMA career, but I've got to go with Keith Lee. Aw, strong choice there. 
at no rest holds. Keith Lee, I absolutely hate Riddle, so I'd almost pick anyone over him, but Lee is quickly becoming one of my favorites. At nunnyboy20, I would have said Riddle two months ago, and I think Riddle is great and a future star, but Keith Lee is a special talent. I think he could eventually mean event WrestleMania. Strong take there, Mike. But you know, I like it. And I could see it because he does have a lot of charisma. And he does have a sort of it factor, in my opinion. So that could be a really cool main event, depending on who he faces. At Brian underscore TGP, I don't feel like Lee has the personality to connect with fans. So this is funny. This is more of an anti-Keith Lee tweet. And we haven't really had one of those. So interesting take there. At... Spray, ER, man, JJ, Keith Lee can do moves not seen from other big men. So he's picking Lee. So there you have our listener and viewer answers. Quite diverse, but really seem to lean towards Keith Lee as a favorite for them. And me, now it's my turn to choose. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so difficult for me. Like I said, guys, I can't even emphasize enough how hard of a choice this is. I really like both guys quite a bit. Let me just highlight what I like about both. Keith Lee... So strong and athletic. I like how someone compared him to Vader because I really have always loved big guys that could do aerial moves and that had a sort of grace in the ring. Not just Vader, but also Bam Bam Bigelow. Keith Lee is kind of in that hemisphere for me. He's that type of wrestler for sure. And then Riddle, he's got insane agility, quick speed, and insane strength for a guy who's so skinny. He doesn't come off as like, a super heavyweight guy but the things he does and the people he picks up it's just crazy and he really tags well with almost anybody and let me just say before I give my final decision if you guys haven't seen their awesome PWG match where Keith Lee launches Matt Riddle across the ring I would highly suggest you check out that match it is so good and if you love both guys you'll have a fun time seeing them face each other in the ring all right so here's the moment of truth my choice drum roll it's gonna have to be Matt Riddle and yes I'm going against the norm but I have a really soft spot for Matt Riddle I just think I know people criticize the stoner gimmick but I think his charisma goes beyond the silly gimmick I think it's like more in his facial expressions in his body language even the way he poses and flings his flip-flops in the middle of the ring. I just think that whole sequence is really, really compelling. There's something about him that makes me want to watch what he's doing and it makes me want to cheer for him. There's just some kind of it factor. And some people said that for them, Keith Lee has that it factor. For me, I think more so Matt Riddle has it. And I mean, not to mention, I love his theme song. And I think I do officially like his NXT theme song better than Keith Lee's, hands down. Keith Lee's is good, but Matt Riddle's is so catchy with that beat. Do, 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 do. I can't even do it, but I love it so much. And his matches are just incredible. Now, yes, as a lot of people mentioned, Keith Lee has gotten a recent push and really had some great performances and moments on Survivor Series and in NXT. Not just War Games, but on recent NXT TV as well. It was a hard choice for me. It's not like it was super easy to make the decision. Keith Lee has a lot to offer, and I do think he has a charisma that rivals Riddle's, but for me, it's just not the same. Keith Lee's charisma just kind of comes more of a, a subdued charisma. It's still there, but it's not as in your face as Matt Riddle's is to me. And let me just say, if you do love Keith Lee and you guys chose Keith Lee, why don't you check out Cultaholic's recent video where they did a whole music video about Keith Lee spoofing the song Don't You Forget About Me from the 80s. If you guys remember, if you saw Breakfast Club, that song Don't You Forget About Me is in that movie, very prominent part of the movie. Well. My friends at Cultaholic spoofed that music video and did their own all about Keith Lee. And it all came from something that happened after they were doing like a, a watch along. And they started singing, don't you forget about Keith. So they made it into a whole song and it's hilarious. You guys will love it. But if you're a Riddle fan like me, there's many great matches you can go and look up from his past. And in fact, my next match on my to watch list is First to two falls table match, Matt Riddle versus Jimmy Havoc versus Keith Lee at Riptide Wrestling Point Break. That took place in 2017. Just the description alone is very intriguing. And uh, yes, 
Jimmy Havoc's not part of this convo, but if you guys know Jimmy Havoc, he's incredible, and this match has got to be something special to have all three of these guys in it. So I can't wait to watch that match. And so I am so happy that all of you guys gave your thoughts. But to those of you who didn't get to comment your thoughts about who you'd choose, why don't you comment below and leave who you would pick over the other, either Keith Lee or Matt Riddle. And look out for more of these either or series. I'll be releasing them every couple of weeks. The next one I'm really excited about, you have to choose which move presentation you like better. The Diamond Cutter by DDP, of course, or Randy Orton's RKO. Of course, the same move technically, but very iconic presentations to each of them. So look out, that one's coming next. And again, look out on my Twitter at superkickingit, S-U-P-E-R-K-I-C-K-I-N-G-I-T, and at Wrestle News Co. on their Twitter. I'm going to put out polls on both, asking what you guys think, which move you like better. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and to share with your friends and give us a like too while you're at it. Thank you.